hello everyone i know it's been a while since i like made a hair tutorial video or actually just post on youtube because i've just been dealing with a lot with my health my mom it's just been too much but i thought today i will come and do this install while just giving you guys the update about how i've been and why i've been kind of lacking on this youtube thing um, while doing that, I want to show you guys how I transformed this hair from looking like this straight out of the box to looking like this and some few easy steps. So, um, if you want to see that, make sure you just keep watching. <laughs> But before I get into my life update and what has been happening, I do want to mention that this video was brought to you guys by Beauty Forever. They sent me this unit, but I actually purchased from them a little while ago. And the unit that I got is similar to this, but it was actually like curly, curly hair. Um, but the color is kind of the same. So I went with this hair. So today I'm going to just show you guys how I you know kind of make it into my thing how I used to do it as I give you guys a life update so let's just get into my life update y'all cuz it's just been crazy I've been dealing with so so much um personally you know with my health as you guys may know like a few years ago I kind of did open up to you guys about how I was having issues with my time of the month when it comes it comes heavy and it lasts for a month or so and the last time when this happened to me um i was on it for about 40 days as i can remember counting and i was feeling so weak that i decided you know what i'm gonna take myself to the emergency room and i remember um around that time i was living i was in la and i didn't have anyone with me so i took an uber and walking out of that uber into the emergency room when i tell you guys i was so tired my leg felt so weak okay and so finally they got me in and they had to rush and give me blood transfusion because my blood um, count was so low and they told me if i did not come that day i could have literally died um so that was very scary but then they had like a gynecologist to go in and like check what is going on with me. And they said, it's nothing. I just have a regular period. And there was nothing that I they could do for me besides giving me birth control. And I would say I was honestly like not trying to be on birth control because um, I just heard a lot of like side effects with birth control, like, you know, especially like gaining weight. And I'm not going to lie to you guys. I did not want to gain weight. Um, so I decided they did give me the birth control. I took it, finished it, but I never went back and I got another birth control. I was just like, Ugh, I'm just not going to do this anymore. But anyway, time has passed, you know, and I thought everything is cool. My period was kind of like, you know, fixing itself. I would say like the beginning of this year, my period has been like really good. I only get it for about five to seven days. And it's regular and I'm feeling like oh this is great and then July 13 comes I don't know why but July 13 I stopped my period and it would not stop at first it started very light it was kind of like spotting I'm like okay I'm waiting for that seven days to like come so that it will completely be over nope it just kept going it just kept going and I could just feel myself getting weaker and weaker and also being so frustrated because I felt like I just couldn't be myself um, I couldn't really go out and enjoy myself I was just honestly low-key getting like depressed and there has been many countless times when this happened to me that I get so frustrated and so angry that I'm like I'm ready to go and get my uterus taken out because I can't do this you know but then I have to think about the future do I want to have kids at this point I don't know if I want to have kids but I'm like I don't want to regret it but I have thought about taking my uterus out because I was just so tired of having to deal with my freaking period so I 
again at that time when I went to the hospital um, and they gave me that they gave me that blood transfusion guys I had to pay ten thousand dollars out of pocket because I did not have insurance at that time so I made it my goal that I get insurance so the beginning of this year I got a health care insurance and I got it with Kaiser and um, yeah I tried to make an appointment during this time of the month when I when I started seeing it being long try to make an appointment and they told me we we don't have any availability until October and I was desperate so one day I'm like watching YouTube videos and I came across um, this Instagrammer that I used to watch on Instagram she's a dancer um, and she was talking about PCOS and all the symptoms that she was talking about is literally the same thing that I was having. I don't think she mentioned anything about like having long period, uh, but all the other things was literally the same. And I'm like, okay. And in the video, she was talking to a doctor that was here actually in um, Beverly Hills. So I'm like, I'm going to have to go see this doctor. Like, I don't know. I don't think I can wait for the Kaiser gynecologist to get back to me. Let me go to this lady, she's a specialist, and she seemed to know what she's doing. Maybe I have PCOS. But at this point, I was just like praying for answer. If it is PCOS, I know you can cure it, but there is some things that you could do to kind of help. Um, so I'm like, let me go. And as you guys might notice, I also, I know this conversation is like everywhere, but I'm just trying to like, deal with <laughs> trying to tell you guys everything um but yeah one of the symptoms that i was getting besides the irregular period i gained so much weight guys and if you guys know at the beginning of the year i um started like working out and i was working my ass off but i was not losing weight and i've never been the person to eat like crazy fast food like that i i, I don't eat out as much i don't think and i don't eat fast food like fatty food or anything like that um but i wouldn't say i'm like the most healthiest person ever but i was gaining weight i gained about what 20 pounds and i was not able to get it off and so when i was watching candace video and she was talking about that and her symptoms and stuff i'm like that sounds like the same thing i was going through but i just thought i was gaining weight and i just wasn't doing enough so um, when I saw the video, I decided to reach out to the office of the doctor that was in the video and they got me an appointment like literally right away. I didn't have to wait until next month to see a gynecologist. So I went in there and, um, you know, the doctor, you know, she they asked me about my symptoms and all of that. She's like, OK, OK. And then right away when she did the little scanning thing, you know, to check inside uh, my uterus and she sees the little whole stuff and right away she said yep it is PCOS you know it was like little tiny holes and so when she saw that she was like yes it is it's PCOS um and she was also telling me how like she would recommend me having to like freeze my eggs around like when I'm 30 because it does look like I have a lot of eggs, but it doesn't mean that they are good quality eggs. And this might be a little bit too much information. Um, you know, there was a time, because I realized I have never gotten pregnant scared before, okay? Um, and I realized, like, there was a time me and my partner decided to basically you know try it um and i just i i i've never you know we tried kind of many times and like i said like i'm not i'm not sure if i'm ready to have a kid but yes i tried um to be pregnant and i just did not and so her saying that i was like that makes like sense maybe that's what it is um so she's saying basically that also like with my weight gain I'm not going to lie. I eat a lot of carbs. Like, I love me some rice. I love pasta. Um, so my weight gain kind of has to do with that because it's not like I'm eating fatty food. But with the way that my body is set up and um, my not, something about insulin, like, she explained it very well. And she even gave me a paper. But I'm going to leave a video 
um, of Candace that I told you guys I came across if any of you guys are having those kind of symptoms so you can watch from that video but she was telling me how like uh, my body takes carbs and turn it into fat um, so that's why you know I've gained the weight that I've gained and stuff like that and she um, basically prescribed two medication one is birth control to help regulate my period and wanna the other one is metformin and that is supposed to help me with um kind of um losing weight but obviously you still have to eat right cut out sugar cut out carbs and still work out that's it's not like a medicine that's just gonna make you lose weight you have to do the work as well so those are the medicine that she prescribed and one of them the metformin makes you nauseated and stuff so after i got it you know my period started kind of like decreasing so i'm like hey it's about to go i am about to be on my content shit back to work i'm gonna be on it and then the day that i decided that i you know what i'm gonna film this video that you guys are watching guys i took that medicine and when i say right away i started feeling so nauseated and all i ate was like a little bit of salad because i wasn't even hungry like I couldn't eat but I try to force myself to eat salad because it says I have to eat it with food yeah I ate that and all I wanted to do was throw up my body was so weak my energy was so down could not film the video and I'm just like just when I thought my period is finishing and I could finally do something I started this medication and I am having this like side effects um, but the next day what I decided to not to do because I like to film my video in the morning I decided not to take the medicine right away um, To just like do all the work that I need to get done And then when I'm fully sure that I don't have anything else to do I can take the medicine So that's what I did to get this video done But that's pretty much kind of like an update about what has been going on with me And um yeah i i hope that this is going to kind of help everything and if any of you guys are experiencing pcos and you want to discuss it more like let's talk about it in the comment um i'm gonna make like another video because i kind of did a vlog style as well so maybe i'm going to expand on it um more on that video but yeah that's pretty much it for this video guys if you are interested in the wig that I showed today, make sure you check the description bar down below. I'm going to have all the links for it. But thank you guys so much for watching and for constantly praying for my mom. We're going to talk about that as well. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and remember to always be your own kind of beautiful. Bye.